Hey guys, here I am finally playing WrestleGun for the PlayStation Vita when this game came out. I couldn't play it until today. Uh, thanks to one of my followers in YouTube, he gave me the instructions on how to do it. And it totally saved my ass. It worked, made it work. So thanks to you. You know who you are. I'll leave the name here in the bottom. Uh, thanks to you. It worked. Thank you. And um, that's it. But it's been working very good. Like you see here, you got the single player online co-op ad hoc, which is awesome. You can play with your buddy without using internet. Uh, here you got high scores and all that. Let's go ahead here. Arcade single. Let's go play an arcade. Uh, you got rookie, experience, and veteran. Gonna choose the experience, and you got these three ships, uh, which uh, later on you'll be able to custom uh, upgrade them if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and keep on going, and let's go ahead and play a match here. I'm also gonna be comparing it with the PlayStation 4 version being played remote play. So I'm gonna be cutting to the PlayStation 4 version. That way you guys can see the difference there. Um, and um, because I think that the PlayStation Vita version actually looks very good. I think it actually looks very good. I was not expecting for it to look this good. Uh, honestly, I thought it was going to look a lot worse because, uh, you know, since it had to be ported to the PlayStation 4, um, I thought it was going to be, you know, we were going to see less, a lot more less particles than we used to see on the PlayStation 4. Uh, right here you throw you could throw your your human like that with the X This game also has a platinum trophy. Um, it has, I haven't shown you the trophies, but I'll maybe show you guys here with a little image here in the video. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, baby. Um, it has platinum trophies. In total, it has 34 trophies. And the great thing is that this has cross save with the PlayStation 4 on um, 3. It does not cross save with the PlayStation 4. So that means that you get a whole new set of trophies too, which is awesome. Oh crap. Oh yeah, baby. So up here you can see your life remaining. Oh crap, oh yeah. Uh, the overdrive, you use it with the R. I'm gonna try to use the overdrive, that way you can see how it looks compared to the PlayStation 4 version. There you go. There you go. Is this up completely? Oh crap. Oh. There you go. Uh, make sure you learn how to throw your humans, that way um, you get the first trophy, which is throwing the human. Uh, to throw the human here, you have to use the X.
Uh, now I'm going to show you guys the bomb, so you guys can see how the bomb looks here. Um, what? Well, maybe not. <laughs> not now. Yeah, right now. There you go. Looks pretty good. That way you guys can see how it looks compared to the PlayStation 4 version. Oh crap, there you go. Where is it? Ah, oh, he took the human. Ah, oh, somebody took the human. I think this game is $9.99. Unless you bought it for the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3. Because I got this game for free on the PlayStation 4 when it came out. Uh, totally loved it. Not bad for free, being a free game. And I honestly thought I was going to have to actually buy f the PlayStation Vita version. But no. I actually got it for free. That's the great thing about the PlayStation Vita. The cross-buy feature is just amazing. There you go. Extra life. Got an extra life there. We got zero bombs left. Here comes the boss from this level.
Oh crap. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> well, there you go. Level complete. Not bad. There you go. I got my first trophy here in the mission. So like I said, this is the first time I played it ever since it, it was released. I think it was the 24th of December. And I just got to play it today. So, man. Wow, I was so pissed it wasn't working back then. Dude. So guys, that is it. This was Rest So Gun for the PlayStation Vita. Thanks for watching the video. And let me know if you want to see anything more. Till next time, guys.